welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I'm super excited to get into today's reading because today we're going to tap in to see who is constantly thinking about you. Why? What do they want with you in your situation? That is what we're getting into today. So my Etsy shop is linked below in the description if you'd like your own private tarot reading. That is where you can find me. Let me zoom in on these. Um, other than that, you know, pause the video if you need more time with the piles, but we're going to jump right into it. We got group one with the bluish rainbow reflective stone. Group two with the red stone. Group three with the green stone. And group four with the dark blue stone. So take as much time as you need. Like I said, pause the video if you need more time with the piles, but we're just gonna get started. All right, if you chose group one with the bluish rainbow stone, this is your reading. We're using the animal totem tarot for you guys today to find out who is constantly thinking about you, group one. What are their thoughts? <laughs> What is their, you know, intentions? Who is thinking about you? So spirit, this is for group one with the lighter blue rainbowish stone. Show me who is constantly thinking about group one. I just heard, I like you in that tone. Um, and it's funny because we have the vulnerability card that came out. Um, so this is someone, yeah, and the evaluation card in alignment. So this is someone who genuinely feels like they are in alignment with you. They're able to have a relationship with you. They feel like they're on the same page as you. Like they feel like you guys are in alignment. Wow, we got the dreams card that came up as well. So they may be having dreams about you as well. It is looking like they are. Wow, okay, cool. We got a lot of good energy so far, so we'll see where this goes. Vulnerability and evaluation. At the bottom of vulnerability, it says out in the open, so they definitely want to say how they feel sometime soon because they're not really used to liking someone in this way, and because that energy can be kind of foreign to them, they're like, okay, I just need to get this off my chest. Um, evaluation, seriously thinking about this is what that one says. So they've really been taking time to observe you, I feel. They've been trying to observe you, trying to see like, okay, is this lust? Why am I attracted to this person? Is it really worth it? What type of connection is this? Why do I feel this way? They've been really trying to be particular and specific um, with like decoding how they feel. We have strength and dream. Strength says recalling your power. So <laughs> the dreams card, you know, honestly, the dreams probably freaked them out a little bit because for whatever reason, tapping into this person's energy, they're just kind of stoic. Like, I don't know. It's it's not that they're like an F boy, F girl. They're used to like playing the field and whatever, whatever. This seems like someone who never dates like that. Like they never, when they do date, it's likely a long-term relationship, a serious relationship. And that for them is rare. Like, I feel like this person, I wouldn't be surprised if they only had like one or two max long-term relationships or just relationships in general because it just feels like they're more stoic and philosophical and, you know, there's a little bit of like Saturnian energy where it's like they kind of have this disdain for people. They don't think very highly of like people. They may have judging eyes. Like they may even look a little mean. <laughs> they may look a little mean. And I don't feel like they are mean, but they do have these like serious undertones that, that come out of them if you spend enough time with this person. So, um, yeah, the dreams is funny because strength says recalling your power at the bottom of it. Uh, dreams at the bottom of that one, it says you're in my dream. So they're like, okay, okay, okay. I'll hold the freaking phone. Dreams, dreams, that's too much. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be dreaming about someone. I can't even escape in my sleep, you know, for, for the, uh, from the thoughts and feelings I have for this person. Like, okay, I need to get this off my chest. So you'll likely be hearing from them soon. Um, alignment says same frequency. And then we have invitation. So we have alignment and invitation. I don't think I said that. 
Um, at the bottom of the invitation, it says, let's hang out. So this kind of feels like a gym crush, a work crush. This could be someone crushing um, on you through social media because there's definitely this watchful energy. This person hasn't just been thinking about you. They've been watching you, observing you, following you, I heard. And not in like a stalker way, but in like a way where it's like following on social media, keeping up to what you're keeping up with what you're doing, keeping up with your progress, um, either in the workplace or in the gym. Spirit, what is on their mind for group one? What is on the mind of their person constantly thinking about them? One of these flipped over. Oh, <laughs> why do I have to make the first move? Because you're the one with all the feelings, sir. You're the one with all the feelings, ma'am. That's why you got to make the first move. <laughs> So that's what we got for Spirit, what else can you tell me? What is on their mind? I want to admit my feelings and do you like me back? So yeah, tapping into this person's energy. They're curious about you. They're intrigued by you, but this person does not know you. They don't know you on a deeper level. You guys don't have a history. This isn't an ex watching you. This is someone who's very curious about you in a romantic way, but hasn't gotten to explore how they feel at all. Um, tapping into this energy, it doesn't feel like they know you. It doesn't feel like you guys have had... Honestly, to me, it doesn't even feel like you guys have had a conversation. If you guys have had a conversation, I feel like it would be short and surface level. This does not feel like date. Unless you guys went on one date and then they started acting weird or expecting you to like pursue them after that or something, I don't feel like this is someone you've gone on a date on max one. Like, I really don't even feel like you've hung out with this person in a private setting. Um, but... I, I, I can definitely say, you guys may share the same friend group, but I can definitely say, why do I have to make the first move? It's just giving me this energy of them feeling like, for whatever reason, romantically, you should be the one to make the first move. So I feel like there may have been something there, like maybe they were in a relationship and they got out of that relationship and now it's like, okay, it would be kind of messed up for me to seem like I'm on the prowl looking for the next person to date when I just got out of a relationship. Like that's the only example I can think of at the top of my head, but for some reason they really do feel like it would be appropriate if you would say something first. Um... I want to admit my feelings and I, I, I feel like this is like tormenting them because they feel like they can't really do that because they don't have enough interaction with you to where it would make sense and come across as like something that's acceptable. Like, like I said, max, maximum. I feel like you guys have gone on like one date if you've ever gone on a date with this person. So it's just like, they're like, that's just actually way too much. <laughs> like, like I cannot admit my feelings to this person that I don't even know and I haven't talked to. And then we have, do you like me back? So they're curious if this is all in your head, you know, or in their head. To be honest, I feel like this person has, I, I feel like they do quite the to and fro in their own head. Like, I feel like they feel like you guys have some sort of to and fro going and really it's just like them whispering to themselves and all in their own head and playing out these different fantasies and interactions. It's like, it's say you know this person, like you've seen them at the gym, you could, you could exchange one glance with this person and that gives them like a week of material to like go on in their head about to dream about like they, they take one small minuscule interaction and make it like the biggest thing in their head they were like they'd be like oh that meant and she was feeling like this that day i could tell because she <laughs> like, they really like allow themselves to go um this is interesting we have the sacral chakra but for this person i don't feel they're very ruled by their sacral energy at all i feel like this person may be an earth sign or maybe an air sign <sighs> anyways with this fire uh fire okay that just randomly came up so maybe they're a fire sign but with the sacral chakra card um i don't feel like this is talking about their like sensual desire towards you i feel like the sacral chakra is talking more about their desire to create 
with you. This is definitely more of a creative type of person because like some people, they get a lot of energy and they immediately want to express it. So they either like go on a run, they go to the gym, they want to hang out with somebody that they can get their quick, you know, what off, like, you know, or, or people, it's hard to anchor creative energy and put it into something that takes a lot of focus so like when you have an excess of creative energy the best thing to do would be to channel it towards a project but because that takes so much focus it takes a longer time to let that energy out it's like a it's like a tire with a tiny 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 little hole versus like you know uh, a lot of people just like to blow their tire or you know what i mean it's a small little leak, but tapping into this person's energy, um, they feel like they have the discipline, especially with them being so stoic and really in their head a lot. Um, it feels more like, okay, create creativity, strategy. We have the authority and mental conflict. So, and I feel like everything kind of goes back to the vulnerability card that we have, that we had before, because that's ultimately the the problem here you're putting them kind of in their feminine energy and they're more used to being in their masculine they're more used to taking action when they have a problem they go to solve it when there's a conversation that needs to be had they go to say something about it maybe you guys are different like maybe you seem younger than them or you seem to be into things that they're not into like say for an example you know, you want to live a life of luxury, you love material things, and you're a material girl. Um, that's like this person being like more uh, earth anchored in, you know, less, more simple, minimalistic, um, the necessities, comfort, but like uh, not through the constant acquiring of items or things. It's, it's kind of like that, like you guys have two different aesthetics or two different ways that you live life or um, there's an age gap or if you work with this person, this person could be an HR or they could be like a manager, like there's, there's two different frequencies you guys seem to be on. From their perspective, they feel like that's something that they shouldn't ignore. We have stand your ground and destiny. So you may know that this person likes you, but you're standing your ground. You're, you're standing in your power. You're not allowing their frustration to seep over into like to being a problem for you. You're like, okay, cool. You like me. I like you too. You're attracted to me. I'm attracted to you too. But does that mean that I'm going to get out of position and pursue you? No, it does not. I'm standing my ground. I'm standing right here um, in my power. And we have destiny. So I feel like this uh, relationship, this situation is going to come together on its own. But this is kind of where we're at. This is what's going on in their head. They're wondering why you haven't made a move on them. And I'm, I, I, I feel like if they were to be really honest with themselves, they would agree that they haven't put in like as much effort as they're making it seem like, but at the same time, they do feel like the ball is in your court. And I feel like because this person is so like mental based and so like intelligent based and philosophical, they could find a reason to feel that way versus that actually being the case, if that makes sense. Like because they're so mental based, they can find a reason like, and this is what makes them such a good alchemizer, such a good creative. Like the fact that if something happens, they can find a solution or they can find a reason to be okay with something. If something happens that makes them uncomfortable, they can find themselves through that. It doesn't affect them forever, but it's just not... In this situation, it's not, it's not helping you guys move forward. Spirit, what else can you tell me for group one? The magician, which is so funny because the, the magician is the alchemist. So spirit's kind of like the ball needs to be in their court. We have the knight of cups. 
Yeah, you know what? And we have the Empress in Reverse and the Death card. So I feel like if you guys make a move on them, you'll somehow like ruin this or throw the energy off. And you already know that, which is why some of you know that this person likes you, but you've been standing your ground. Because you've walked away from this uh, era where you did the most to make people comfortable or did the most and pursued people. It's funny because I just remembered the other day I was at the gym and there was this guy that I used to talk to but like years ago, like years, years, years ago. And we were at the gym and I like did a double take because I was on the treadmill and I don't ever make eye contact when I'm working out. I just can't. It's just, it's just too much. I don't know. Listen, I just can't do it. But um, so as I was like, you know, cleaning up my stuff, I looked over and I noticed him. And you could tell that, I could tell that he was looking at me like in the corner of his, and like the gym was like kind of empty. So he didn't have to have a treadmill by me, but he was like one treadmill away. And I'm like, damn, it made me reflect on that situation with him. I made things so easy for that guy. Like I made things just so easy. And I was like, that's crazy that we both know that we know each other. And I know that he literally in an empty gym got on the treadmill one away from mine because he wanted me to say something but i'm not that version of me anymore so i'm not gonna make things super easy like oh hey why so you could pretend to like you didn't see me first and that's not why you're here like it's, it's just crazy it kind of feels like that with the empress in reverse and the death card it's like <laughs> bottom of the deck real shit you got options seven of cups so you don't need to and anyone who wants to be with you is going to have to apply some pressure they're going to have to make it known they're going to have to make an effort on their own accord they can't just come into your vicinity and do a little cute little wink or a little look and you're falling to your knees and pursuing them you're not that girl you're not that guy anymore um and so we have the Knight of Cups and the Magician. Spirit is kind of saying like everything really is as it should be with that Destiny card because this person is breaking through personal barriers and learning to take action even when they feel vulnerable. And you're breaking personal barriers by standing in your power and allowing things to truly come all the way to you. You know, like, what's the point of being on an on an attraction uh, journey, working on your magnetism and doing all this personal work if you're just going to give it away, you know, for the first person that thinks you're pretty or, or that likes you? Like, I just get that same energy. Like I said, I forgot about that um, just a few days ago that that happened, but... I, I feel like you guys are kind of like over that as well, making things so easy or saying things. If you're not going to say nothing, I'm not going to say nothing either. And we both just not going to be saying nothing. Unless the Holy Spirit channels through my body and tells me to move, I'm not moving. <laughs> and that's where I feel like you guys are. You got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, so... Continue to trust. The energy is very potent for you. Wow, that's crazy. We have the star card under that. It's crazy because I don't always, like, when I look at the bottom of the deck, I don't always put it on. I don't always lay it out so I remember we have it. And then I, I pulled it out this time to put it on here so I can remember we had that Wheel of Fortune energy. And we have the star that was right under that. So, Listen, the wheel's going to turn in your favor and there will be wish fulfillment with that star card and spirit is like, don't overextend yourself. Both of you need things to start a certain way and I feel like you've learned that as well about building a solid foundation and also like how, just how impactful the beginning of a relationship can be. If you started off, you know, teaching people, I'm low maintenance, you don't have to put an effort, even when you know you should do something and take the lead, you don't, I'll always do it, do it, do it, then that kind of just sets the tone. So you're really standing your ground and it's working out in your favor. We got the nine of wands, knight of swords in reverse. So spirit is telling you give just as much as they're giving and it doesn't mean match their energy like if someone seems nonchalant and you seem nonchalant you can be your regular bubbly self or if this person is super high energy you can be your regular calm self but it's just like give as much as they're giving move as fast as they're going that's a better way to put it like move as fast as they're going. You know, if they say hi to you one day, you can say hi to them the next day. But the day after that, 
it's back on their court. It's not, okay, now I'm, oh, what do you know? I, I'm, I'm chasing you now. No way. No one's going to be able to, you know, bamboozle you into that position. I don't feel like ever again. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles in reverse, which is funny because it just confirms like the Three of Pentacles is a card of um, working with spirit, the higher power, you know, the divine, all of that. And the fact that we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, spirit's like, I'm not even helping them. They have to move this pentacle all by themselves to get to the next level. So again, this isn't just, uh, you know, about you and, and your growth and progress. This is also theirs as well. That's kind of crazy. I didn't expect all of that to come from this reading. Um, Spirit, what else can you tell me for group one? Convince yourself, not others. So Spirit is saying your main focus right now is your belief. If you're really a bad B or if you're really confident, um, then you will feel that. You won't have to look a certain way. You don't have to show it. Don't use like, you know, confidence as a reason to do more than you should. If you're truly confident, then you know it's going to come to you because you are perfect for it. You're a perfect match for it. You're in alignment with it. Convince yourself, not other. Spirit is saying like, the better thing to focus on is like your worth and value versus trying to prove it. So all of a sudden I can't talk at the end of your reading. Continue to stand firm in your belief, firm in your knowing, and let them come to you. That is what I got for you guys, group one. My Etsy shop is in the description if you want a private tarot reading. That is where you can find me. But that is everything that I got for you guys today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group two with the red stone, this is your reading. Tapping in to see who is constantly thinking about you. We're using the Witch's Tarot for you guys today, so let's figure it out. Spirit, this is for group two. Show me who is constantly thinking about group two, who has group two on their mind. Ooh, that's a good sign. So we got the commitment card. First card that flew out for you. That's funny, the telephone card, um, wanted to come out a second ago. It didn't come out all the way though, so this may be someone like writing and deleting text. We'll see. For group two, spirit. Oh, oh wow. This may be someone you haven't seen in a while. For like a very, very few of you, this is someone you've had a one night stand with. We have the nasty girl boy card that came out. Um, and then we had Renewal that came out with it. So you're on someone's mind. We got the Thoughts card as well. Um, and they haven't seen you for a while. It was like a very quick, short-lived connection. And I do feel like it was an intimate connection, physically intimate or very spiritually intimate. Um, intimate in a way where it's like, this is either you you got nasty for this person or you were thinking about them constantly fantasizing about them in that way there was so much tension in the room and i would say that this would absolutely be vice versa they're still thinking about you as well but i feel like whatever you had with this person was short-lived and there may have been something significant that did happen that got you guys out of alignment uh, this person went to school in another state. This person moved away. This person got a promotion and moved to a different branch. Um, you guys like lost contact. It feels like something significant got in the way. It could even be like a connection that they wanted to sort out. Um, so like this is like an energy of their they've dated someone for five years, broke up with that person, nasty breakup. That person comes back in their life and they give it one more shot because they're like, okay. I've been in a long-term relationship with this person, like, like it's a reason, a really real reason I'm, you know, it would have to be. At the bottom of nasty girl slash boy, it says anything for you. At the bottom of renewal, it says starting over again. So this person is starting over again. This person is going back to their old self. 
where they were single completely separated from that person or they may be coming back to the city that you guys uh, lived in together um there's there's this reset here though with the renewal card this person may have even gone through a depression to be honest tapping into this energy there's there's this like dark cloud um and a lot of mental conflict and turmoil i'm feeling from this person um, so there may have been like something like that, like they genuinely had to take care of their mental health and you may have been able to see it reflected in their actions, what they talked about, like, I love you, I care about you, I got feelings for you, but you are not well, you really do, like you may have felt like, okay, this person really does need help and I don't know if I am qualified to administer that to them, but um, Anyways, they're coming back around. So we have commitment exclusively yours at the bottom of that card. So it is looking like that is what they want here. Um, they want a commitment. Confessions, I got a thing for you is what it says at the bottom of that. It feels like you guys are dating for the first time, but I did hear again, dating again. So like I said, I feel like this was a really hot connection or a really nice connection. Someone who you really thought like, ooh, this is, this, this is going to go somewhere. And then next thing you know, it didn't. Silence. They were, you know, going through it like just kind of like a lot so that's what i feel like happening here happened here but they're spinning the block we got against the odds and thoughts at the bottom of against the odds it says never giving up so they never really let you go in their head you were always in the back of their mind but i'm telling you <laughs> this is one of those things where it's like it could be one of those like more left field kind of things like this person got someone pregnant and they had to show up and try to be a parent like it feels like a reasonable block where even both parties have to agree like okay yeah okay I understand why they're not talking to me at this time like there's an actual reason why that wouldn't make sense or you know um, never giving up at the bottom of that one. At the bottom of thoughts, it says always on my mind. Let's normalize allowing people to go through their mental health struggles on their own. Let's normalize um, someone taking care of their mental health being just as important as or just as much as a reason to lay off like someone moving or having something else happen. I find that a lot of people go immediately into we can work through this mode and it's like but this isn't your trauma. This is my trauma. You know, this is what I have to work through. This is what I have to process. I don't need you because you're going to be looking for something as well. As much as you want to support, you're still going to be looking for something or needing me to fill your cup. And this can be solved a lot sooner if I can just really bang this out and, and focus on myself. Um, but also, that's kind of selfish, you know, to look for someone with an empty cup to then fill your cup under the guise of, but I'm helping, when really it's like you're being selfish. So... Um, tapping in here, I feel like some of that where it's like maybe you tried to help this person eventually. Um, I do feel like you laid off. But some of you who really do struggle with codependency may have like put a little bit of a bad taste in this person's mouth. They don't seem to have that on their spirit, but I can feel that tapping into the energy. They, I don't even feel like they remember that, to be honest. It feels like they've been through so much since you guys have spoken that that's not something that that's like on their mind or holding them back. Um, we have secret feelings and chosen one. Um, keeping it inside at the bottom of secret feelings at the bottom of chosen one, it says, I choose you. So tapping into their energy. They're serious about this. They're serious about you. They want to advance. They want to move forward. Spirit, for group two, who is constantly thinking about them? Right away, um, can we hang out alone? Interesting. So I wonder if you guys um, do have like more of a professional relationship or you've always hung out in public or around other people. They want you to like, I just heard I want you in my room. That's from a song with Bryson Tiller. What is that song? That's not even the, the lyric all the way. But anyways. Um, this person, they, they want to spend private time alone with you, not with other people. And it's not so you guys can just, you know, go back to that nasty girl, nasty boy thing. But it's more like, I just, I want this to be just about us. I don't want, oh, I feel like whatever they went through, like really did them in. And it just feels like simplicity and almost like this person is still a little shaken or vulnerable. They're not exactly at 100% 
a healed position. I feel like they're like 85%, so a good amount, ready to be in a relationship, but still a little like shaken. They don't want any like stress or societal norms projected onto love or their situation. Like they don't want it to be about constantly going in public to restaurants like we don't know each other, like I haven't seen you naked. <laughs> like <laughs> they don't they don't want to go like we have I feel like this is true love. So they're like, I feel like I have something real with you and I want it to be just that. I don't want it to be like stereotypical. So you're gonna have to decide what you really want because you deserve to have like that dating, you know, experience and that dating process. And this is what they would prefer, but that doesn't mean that you don't have a voice and you don't have a say. So um, I feel like it's just about finding a norm and also if they know if they've just gone through it Then they have to be real with themselves and know that you know that isn't the best Position to try to date someone in so they they're gonna have to be flexible with that You know like it's not fair to take away someone's dating experience and make it like just me and you always connecting alone You know not that it's not good like quality time is bomb, but you know, if you love to eat and, and you love camaraderie and just like the restaurant vibe or being out and about, that's not exactly fair to you. So that'll take some compromise. Um, but regardless, the energy they're on these days is, is pretty serious. We have let's focus on just us. So another card of them wanting to genuinely connect with you, like alone. How do you feel for me? I feel like that's coming from the fact that you guys haven't spoken in a while. Like, how do you feel for me? I feel like that's an energy of them kind of being like, do you still have feelings for me? Do you still remember me? <laughs> type of thing. Spirit, what else can you tell me for group two? Oh. We have the nine of cups. Eight of Wands in reverse. So it's like they're ready, but they don't want to move fast. Eight of Wands is very fast, uh, fire moving, like like fast moving energy, fire energy. Um, it's like Nine of Cups, I'm ready. Um, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I know what I want, and that is you. But at the same time, I still want to move slow um, because, again, they're just kind of shaken from whatever it is that happened that separated you guys. Um, there may be a lot that you don't know as well because like if you uh, say this person, yeah, we have the tower card. I was just about to talk about that too. Say you guys, um, say you guys stopped talking because they moved. That's not like naturally traumatic. So it's like, okay, well, why did, what, what is this? Um, there was some sort of tower moment where they had to, I feel like they went through a dark night of the soul or they had to overcome their shadow in some way. We got the tower card and the shadow side card in reverse that came out. So there's an energy of, let me cover their faces. I feel like that's why it's not wanting to focus on these cards. Um, the tower card and the shadow side in reverse, like they've conquered their shadow side. That's no longer a factor. They've gotten to know their shadow side. They're, they've resolved whatever problem. They've healed from the relationship and they are ready to move forward in their life. But at the same time, um, that tower energy still, I feel like they're just very painfully aware now. Um, and their bubble has been popped and they don't necessarily look at relationships as this like something to do for the experience. They look at relationships like as something that is a huge responsibility and, and takes a lot of discipline and willingness to work and willingness to compromise even if you even when you don't want to. You know, they understand the weight of giving someone access to you in that way. You know, so we got the Six of Wands, Seven of Cups in reverse. They're not dating, but they do want progress with you specifically. So that is where they're at with this. Spirit, what else can you tell me for group two? I'm hearing speak your mind. Um, Spirit is wanting you to be honest about what it is that you want and also this relationship will move very fast if you if you want it to if you allow it to but it doesn't have to um, 
because you guys already have a history, there's always like, there's already this familiar energy with them. You know, it's not like you're going to get another body if you sleep with them because you've already, it's likely a lot of you slept with them. Uh, this person already knows you. Like, so it's not like your, your boundaries, you're going to have to like teach them your new boundaries, you know, because this person may move like they already know you. Like there is no boundaries because they've already had you in that way. So, um... Yeah, if you're not feeling that way for this person, they have to woo you. And that goes back for me to the dating thing where it's like they would rather just spend time alone with you and build like a really solid emotional connection. But if you want to be like dated and you want that wooed, you want to be wooed, you know, you want that experience, you're going to have to make that clear like, okay, I, yeah, I am still open to talking to you and dating you, but um, this is what I need and also... Even if you've had me before, you know you can't have me again. I don't, like, we're at square one. Communication is going to be very important. Because um, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Chariot. So that that's giving me, like, this energy of you not necessarily accepting their offer or them not even presenting you with a solid offer. But somehow, it's like, you guys are still moving very quickly and making progress. And it's because of the history that you guys have so spirit is like be mindful of that you don't just because there's like someone in your life that's interested in you you don't have to give yourself to this person or even entertain them just because that's what they want something doesn't feel right we got the temperance card in reverse and the queen of pentacles so you've had a significant growth spurt since you've even been with this person or since they knew you I got the Page of Cups. You may have known them when you were younger. Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands in reverse. You're still trying to figure out exactly what it is that you want as well. And here's the thing. You guys have like love and history between each other. But this person isn't a reflection of what you would ask for. Like at this time. So that's a very interesting thing. That's something you don't want to skate over or ignore. Like, and then we have the Eight of Swords. You know, that's crazy because these two came out sideways. We have the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So there's like an energy of you really having to make a decision and, and, and really be intentional about this. Because this person is coming in and they're kind of just moving as if no time passed. And in your heart, you feel that too. Like you resonate with that energy. But at the same time... You move consciously now, and the way that you move, they're not used to, so you don't want to shock them or offend them, but also, like, you got to live for you, so it's just kind of this interesting, confusing space you're in with this. You don't really know how exactly to handle this. Ooh, we got the Ten of Pentacles here. So that's funny, because <laughs> I was like, you know, you're not in that, this person isn't exactly what you would ask for, but... Ten of Pentacles is, is still a healthy, happy relationship. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is just saying, like, you just have to tell them what you want, what you need, and set your expectations. Don't allow them to fully take the lead. Even though they're taking the lead, you still have a say. And make sure you still exercise your right to say what you want and, and things like that. Because it's not that things won't go in your favor, but if you just allow them to slide in as if no time passed and you just kind of go with the flow you're going to end up allowing them to create the relationship fully and this really needs to be a, a co-creation it's not that they're not willing to make you an official offer like will you be my girlfriend will you be my boyfriend will you be in a relationship with me or um it's not that they're not willing to compromise, but they kind of have to be told to compromise because if it's up to them, they just went through a tower moment. They just went through it. Um, they're going to go for the path of least resistance, least responsibility, least. And everybody's like that, you know, like. If you are new at a job, you're not going to go start doing the absolute most, start doing everyone else's job. You're going to do what you're told. You're going to do what's in your job description. <laughs> so we have the crown chakra, emotional withdrawal, and emotional loss. 
you may not even be okay with the way that your situation ended or the way that they left, the way that they left town or the way that they left you, the way that they left the situation. They may not have handled that correctly. You may also just in general be feeling away um, because I was feeling a bit of X energy. So if they stop talking to you to go then talk to an ex, that still doesn't sit right in your heart. And it's not like you were sitting here thinking about this person night and day for years or however long it's been. But um, you've kind of pulled away from this person energetically and come to the conclusion that you guys wouldn't be together. So having this come back on the table as an option is just, it, there's a lot of mixed emotions here. We got the crown chakra. Spirit is really wanting you to take your time and be intentional about this and keeps reiterating the fact that, you know, you don't have to be with this person just because the offer is on the table. And also just because they knew you from the past doesn't mean that they know you now and they're um, not, uh, like the boundaries that you have are not applicable to them. You know, just because you guys have been intimate before doesn't mean you, you owe them your, you know, intimacy. Um, they have to... And that can cause a bit of like confusion or frustration with them uh, already having you and feeling like, okay, I can't just have you in that way again. They may feel like you're acting weird nowadays. And, you know, it's all about communication. Communication is going to be the most important thing here. Communicating to this person, it's not that we can't get back to that level, but you're not entitled to that just because you've had it before. And that's it. Give them a day to process or whatever and they'll get it and you'll be able to move forward we got financial and material changes though so something in some way somehow this is connected to some sort of um financial change so they could be getting a job like i said back in town you could be getting a job and now you work with them again um this could be connected to wealth or this could be a connection that stemmed from the workplace but we got solitude at the bottom of the deck, so I'm still feeling like this energy of you guys either being abandoned by this person or spending time alone. And in that time, you've really grown as a person and you don't want to unwind all of your progress just to give them their wish fulfillment, even if you'll have a shared ten of pentacles together. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, communicate, decide what you really want, make it clear to this person what you need, your new boundaries. Don't be afraid to establish those to them, even if they've already, uh, you know, moved past those boundaries before. We're starting over on a whole new leaf, and if this is going to work, you're going to have to respect that. And like I said, they just went through the tower moment. So naturally, they're not going to be like, oh yeah, let me take on all this responsibility. But if you give, if you let them know what's tea, give them time to process, it'll be fine. You'll still be able to move forward. So yeah, that is what I got for you guys, group two. My Etsy is linked below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you guys today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group three with the green stone, this is your reading. We're using the Tarot Illuminati today for you guys to see who is constantly thinking about you. So let's tap in. Spirit, this is for group three with the green stone. Who is constantly thinking about group three? Who has group three on their mind? Ooh. Okay, so right away, I'm picking up, I do believe, on two different energies, but let me just get a couple more cards. Spirit, who has group three on their mind? Oh, okay, we're definitely going to have to see who that's talking about. Oh, no. A third energy has entered the chat. All right, let's just break them down. So first of all, we have questions and new love. So you have a secret admirer that can't stop thinking about you. This person, it's giving Neptunian energy. This person has a very creative mind. So when they get interested in a new hobby, they obsess. When they get interested in a new person, they obsess. And you are their latest and greatest obsession. And it's like really pulling them so strongly. 
Um, I feel like this is someone you've seen in passing, someone who you may have seen in multiple places or someone who has seen you in multiple places. Like for me personally, it's hard for me to know when I see the same person often, but I have really distinct hair. So when people see me in person, they know they're seeing the same person. It's not like, uh, is that... Uh, they look kind of like someone I've seen like they know because my hairstyle is like very unique for my area um, So you may have like a really unique quality or really have gotten this person's attention really caught their eye um, Because like I said, I feel like you've seen this person in passing Or just a couple of times. Hold on. Let me take off my hoodie. I have on a hoodie. It's making me hot um, but new love says love is in the air question says no clear picture So this person doesn't know you and they likely to be honest have not talked to you if they have talked to you It hasn't been in a relationship sense because the energy that I get is this person being like are you taken? Are you not taken? Um, you look you know around my age. I wonder how old you are. I wonder if you'd be like Interested that kind of thing like they're really kind of sussing you out checking you out watching you um, f You know wherever they've seen you I feel like they've seen you at least a few times though. So this may be a place you frequent this could be a co-worker, but Again, it's easy to talk to like coworkers and things like that. I don't feel like this is someone who you've talked to. This would be like a gym crush, someone you've seen like in passing or if you're in school, this would be someone who doesn't have like an actual class with you or, you know, maybe if you never talk in class or they never talk in class, it could be something like that. But the first energy is really someone um, who's really excited about you. We got secret feelings and chosen one. <laughs> OMG, I'm like, oh my god, I'm, I'm, there's so much going on in your spread group three. I'm just going to try to get clear on these energies as best I can. I'm actually going to clarify the tarot. Okay. So time and soulmate union came out together. This is a separate energy. Waiting limits at the bottom of time. At the bottom of soulmate union, it says love of a lifetime. So to be honest, this kind of feels like there may have been a soulmate denial. Dang, group three, like, did you guys have a glow up or something? <laughs> You got more energies than any other group, literally. I'm like, what is happening with group three? Um, hmm. But yeah, this feels like someone you've dealt with in the past and there's some sort of waiting game that you're playing right now. Like there's an energy of you're not in contact with this person or you haven't spoken to them in a while. Um, there's an energy of you guys kind of being out of touch. Perhaps maybe someone moved. That could be the situation. <clears throat> so you guys aren't in the same vicinity. But then we also have this person here. Twin Flame. At the bottom of this one, it says triggering growth. So this is at least three people, but I do feel like there may be a fourth energy. Regardless, um, we have the excitement card. Got my attention is what it says at the bottom of this card, and this applies to every single person. Like, that's why I was like, did you guys go through some sort of physical glow up or like some sort of mind, body, and soul? If you've had like, um, your spiritual power increasing that doesn't mean that other powers have not increased like your magnetism or your ability to communicate with people throughout words like your energetic communication and things could also be um really at an all-time high right now because people are feeling your energy and also people are really tapping into the memory of you like you and them together there's an energy of that where it's kind of like hmm if people think that they're having an energetic exchange with you, but you've actually done a cord cutting for some of these people For the twin flame, I would I would say most likely it seems like the soulmate you're still open for waiting for this person to Get their stuff together to heal you may have known that you needed to heal before you could engage further with this person You know, it could be that other way around um but a lot of people are excited you've gotten a lot of people's attention and I just feel like you guys have gone through some sort of glow up <clears throat> in whatever way um, we have baby maker guilt and magic <sighs> oh my god I wonder if this is a fourth energy I'm about to get the tarot out because we have chosen one in secret feelings which I feel is attached to to this um, but I'm not like a thousand percent positive 
baby maker says have my baby's guilt says things I've done so everybody's thinking about you right now you guys you may have like your something in your uh, astrology chart like a big major transit affecting your love life because it's like it's literally like every single person you've ever dated is thinking about you right now and the only thing that I would guess let me cover her face I think it's brightening up yeah it's brightening up the um picture now it's focused on her face <laughs> Um, it's almost like anyone that you've dated, anyone that you've touched, anyone that you've communicated with is thinking about you right now. If you guys had a major breakthrough recently and you've come to the conclusion that you're not going to date anyone that you've ever talked to, that is also something that can trigger something like this where it's like all of a sudden literally everybody is thinking about you. Um because they are feeling those cords being cut or they're feeling like this is a door that's completely closing i will never be able to go back with this person and make it work with this person we have the magic card at the bottom of this card it says anything is possible so being in a manifestation energy like there's so many popular manifestation methods that don't work for so many people because they're not in the right frequency when you're truly in the right frequency you attract things naturally to where you don't even have to say out loud what it is that you want and it will come to you just because in your heart or somewhere in your subconscious your being knows that you want it so you naturally attract it um so it could just be like your frequency change that's causing this ripple effect and kind of making people like lose their minds like you really are living in in people's head rent free spirit um the questions and new love is that this chosen one secret feelings person as well because I don't want to assume with the chosen one the wrong energy. Who is the chosen one spirit? We have the Prince of Wands. So that's an incoming offer. I wanted to keep it sideways because it came out sideways so I can read it as either way. Um, but the crazy thing is, the reason I feel like this came in sideways is you can't be acquired by anyone these days. They have to go through a very strict plot process and be disciplined. They can't say you're the chosen one and then choose you and you're just going to go with them. They have to show up as exactly who you know you need because you've reached a higher level of divinity here so you have much more awareness and you also have a say I always give the example it's like when you first start a job you start off as team member and then you graduate to like assistant manager and then manager um, as the manager you can't come in and be told what to do you tell people what they need to do for the day so now that you've you know ascended and reached a higher level of divinity someone can't just come into your reality and say knight of wands here I am you're the chosen one it's like um I decide whether or not you're the chosen one you don't get to just tell me I, you're the chosen one or I'm the chosen one and it's exciting and it feels good you know what I'm saying to have you know someone feel like you're the chosen one but the card came out sideways because you decide whether or not someone gets to proceed they don't get to just fire you down prince of wands fire energy and say i'm so passionate this is what we're gonna do um so that's very interesting but like i said chosen one and secret feelings a lot of people feel like you're the chosen one a lot of people want to choose you but you're not you haven't chosen someone yet you have not chosen someone and they're going to have to come all the way correct. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if they're going to uh, move forward with you. So I feel like this is okay. Let's see. We got one energy here with the new love, the person you're on their mind. They're obsessing about you. Um, this is the person that has kind of like this obsessive personality or uh, obsessive thinking style, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. The second energy is the soulmate union that it looks like you've been in separation with for a while. It, Like I said, what I got from it was that it was a potentially like a soulmate denial. Um, you knew that they, were, that they were your soulmate or they're just, you know, your soulmate period, whether or not you knew it. But you guys are not in contact right now. You're not speaking to this person. So that's the second person. Third person is this twin flame. It looks like they tried to, you may have uh, had a pregnancy scare with this person. Or you may have had just like a strictly physical relationship with this person. And the thing is, there's this twin flame card. There's two twin flames in that in this deck that I'm using. And there's the one that says triggering growth. And then there's the one that says healed connection. So this is the twin flame where it's like, you're 
in the place where you could still make the decision whether or not you guys were actually going to grow together. Um, but this isn't a twin flame that you've decided you were going to be with, if that makes sense. It's like more, we're triggering the growth in each other, we're mirroring each other in that classic twin flame way, but we haven't decided that we're going to grow together. So you're on their mind as well. And um, that's the last energy. This chosen one does apply to people um, that are, you're catching their attention. Like I said, you're like a rake right now, like like raking in all of this energy towards you. So many people are looking at you, wanting, like curious, what are you all about? Wanting to know everything about you, kind of obsessing over you. And um, everyone's kind of looking at you like right now as the chosen one. And a lot of this was triggered by you um, focusing on yourself and reaching that higher level of ascension. It may have like been a spontaneous thing as well. I always think like th there's certain um, areas like all around the world that the people are just naturally psychic. Like one of those places in New Jersey, the state in the United States, a lot of people in New Jersey are extremely psychic and it's just in the land. It's just the energy in that area. So it could just be the area, especially if you made a move, that move could have seriously, man, it's so spiritual. Like you literally go to a, a new area your DNA is in that area. You've left a footprint in that area. Your your energy has now uh, joined harmony with another area um, or the energy in that area. And it has a ripple effect in the universe. So even if you went on a trip recently for the first time, you just came back or you moved recently or like you sent an item of you know clothing somewhere if you donated clothes you don't know where those clothes are going to end up it's crazy how spiritually like everything that you do has a ripple effect and it doesn't have to be intentional at all also it could just be your time to have this upgrade you know it could be anything but man the energy around you has seriously heightened you may be feeling really weird and eerie like you feel like you can read people's thoughts you feel like you can read people's energy <clears throat> spirit what else can you tell me for group three who is constantly thinking about them what else will unfold um what are their intentions and and see that's the thing like ew, even um <laughs> even just saying that asking that question what are their intentions i gotta push back energetically and i feel like it's from you because it's like again with the prince of wands it doesn't matter what their intentions are we have the two of wands that just came out if you don't pick them they don't get to proceed so it doesn't really matter what their intentions are. It's like, may the best man or woman, may the best person win, you know? The best person will get chosen if you feel like that's what you wanna do, but it's not a guarantee. No one's entitled to you. You haven't given yourself to anyone. Things are very much so still up in the air. We also have the Five of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is kind of giving me um recent breakup energy, but it could just be, um, you not really knowing what it is that you want at this time or feeling like, man, I'm finally comfortable on my by myself. Let me get to new levels. Let me go even higher. Let me reach even farther um, before I choose someone. There's kind of, yeah, we have the Eight of Cups so and the Four of Swords. So there's an energy of you guys still reflecting on everything that you've been through and also you getting um, the ripple effects of what you've already done, the blessings still coming to you that are entitled to you and things like that. And Eight of Cups is like an energy of you still not feeling like you're done. You're like, I still got to move. I still got to do all these things to so that my physical life can reflect all of the changes that I've gone through and spiritual downloads and upgrades that have happened internally. I still have like so much, so much still needs to fall into place before I'm seriously thinking about or, you know, or considering anyone's offer. And they also have to be adding to my life. It just isn't enough anymore for you guys, group three, for people to be thinking about you, obsessing about you if they're not taking action. I was just telling somebody uh, this in a reading yesterday, like there was this guy I used to know years ago and um, I was at the gym on the treadmill and he got on the gym one treadmill away from me and the gym is like empty at this time because I go like, 
I go when no one's there, basically. And um, so he could have went anywhere else, but he went there. And it just, I don't, it just, I had this spontaneous epiphany. Like, damn, the older version of me, this would have been enough. Him literally seeing me and being so freaking pussy that he won't say something. And that he's just gonna stand, get get on the treadmill one away from me. The older version of me would have been like, oh, hey, I, I know you remember. Blah, blah, blah. Start a conversation. The new version of me is like, get the, uh, I'm gonna give as, I'm gonna give as much as you gave. Okay. I'm not even gonna look in your direction. But it was just like such a crazy moment for me to realize how much I've grown and changed. Excuse my French. <laughs> I really do have a potty mouth. <laughs> So we have the King of Wands and the Death card in reverse. A lot of energies are attached to you right now. They're detaching from you as we speak, but you're only open to that King of Wands. Even the Prince of Wands came out sideways like, mm, it's not enough. You know, King of Wands, they're really going to have to apply pressure. They're really going to have to show up for you and make moves. And if you really like me, then you'll do what's on your spirit and you'll pursue me without the confirmation like how you want to be treated like a king but you act like the gesture like you you trying to entertain me and crack jokes and shit you can't even really treat me get the fuck out of my face like i just feel this is the energy you guys are on like sir you're the gesture okay you're here to entertain me and that's all i'm going to allow you to do because you don't have enough to pay you know for me and i'm not talking monetarily but that too I'm talking energetically, mind, body, and soul. They need to be able to feed you. If you can't even break bread with this mother, <laughs> let me get up off this doggone, this, <laughs> I'm getting spicy. I'm about to wrap. We got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, so yeah, without any investment. And you know, honestly, we have the lover's card that showed up for you <coughs> with the Four of Cups in reverse. So you guys may actually be at a place where you are um, like, if, if I'm going to be with someone, it's going to have to be divinely guided. They're going to have to be <laughs> placed into my life literally by Allah in order for this to work out. Otherwise, it's just not happening. If God, you know, the spirit, the divine, the universe does not put this person directly in my path and make it clear to me that this is who I'm supposed to be with, I probably still won't entertain it. You're, you're leaving a lot of space for the divine. I wasn't looking for it, but I did not get any intentions from anyone. And I don't have to look for it. It comes out. I don't feel like, I feel like these people do have intentions. I mean, we have the baby maker card that came up that was talking about the past, but I, I'm, I, I just know they would, you know, sleep with you again if you've slept with any of these people. And I'm sure that's on their mind. What I think it is, it's not that they don't have intentions. It's that the intentions aren't at a high enough frequency to mean anything in this reading. Therefore, what is there to talk about? Because it doesn't matter what your intentions are, going right back to the Nine of Wands, or the uh, Knight, the Prince of Wands that came out sideways. If, if, if I don't say you get to push through, you don't get to push through. So it doesn't really matter what your intentions are, um, because you're gatekeeping yourself, as you should. We got time to make a demonstration. So your life is about to heat up in the best possible way. Spirit is really showing you this is what divinity looks like. This is what being in your power looks like. This is what a high level offer looks like. This is what luxury feels like. This is what it, it feels like to live, not to look like something, but to live it and to be it and to embody it. And also, this is what you know, fumbling and losing your opportunity looks like. Now that's gonna be something that you kiki about, probably with your new um, your new person once you do pick a person, or you kind of just laugh to yourself about, because I'm sure they'll be pressed that you're not giving them the time of day anymore. <clears throat> they thought just walking by you would be enough, and in the past, sadly, it was. Just like I said in my example. In the past, if I would have saw someone, like, it, <laughs> but I have the foresight to even think now, like, this isn't a coincidence. This isn't even a coincidence. Like, and in the past, I would have been so airheaded that it's just like, oh, hey. I wouldn't even thought, like, this is an empty gym. Why would someone literally go right by you on the treadmill? 
<laughs> like you guys you're leveling up that is what i got for you group three everybody's thinking about you my etsy shop is in the description if you want a private tarot reading that is where you can find me but that is what i got for you guys today i'll talk to you soon Right, if you chose group four with the dark blue stone, this is your reading. We're using the Arcanum Tarot for you guys today to tap in to see who is constantly thinking about you. Whose head are you living in rent free? Spirit, this is for group four. Who is constantly thinking about group four? <clears throat> Who is constantly thinking about group four? Hmm. Interesting. So tapping in the first energy that's come up for you is someone, it looks like you already know this person. We have the renewal card. <clears throat> Unless this is talking about you, because interestingly enough, um, the cards were really, really quiet for you in the beginning. And I'm like, okay, I'm asking in my head, like, spirit, should I pick from the second deck? Because I have a bunch of love decks you can't see out of frame. Should I pick from the second deck for, for group four? Is there a message in the second one? And spirit's like, no, keep going. There's a message here. So I pull... And this could apply to you or a specific person of the past. You let me know. Renewal, at the bottom of this one, it says starting over again. Confidence, it says having faith in my abilities. If you've been specifically trying to improve your spiritual ab abilities, this is likely talking about you. And that's why Spirit wanted us to start with knowing that the change starts with you and then it has ripple effects into other people. <clears throat> Imperfection says making you change at the bottom of being bold. It says speaking my mind. So if you have had a confidence boost or a glow up mind, body, and soul, this is talking about you. <clears throat> if you have been trying to improve your psychic abilities, this is talking about you. If you have not been doing that, nothing's been, you know, changing with you internally. You're feeling pretty much the same as you did three months ago, six months ago, a year ago. Then this is likely talking about someone who is now feeling like even though we were in a perfect match in the past, um, I, I feel more confident about us and I'm ready to take action. So we'll see by what comes up next. Spirit for group four who is constantly on their mind but for those of you who have had that um, spiritual enlightenment or really been working on yourself trying to get to the next level spirit is starting here because spirit is saying at this point for you it's looking like probably not very many people have you constantly on their mind but this change is having a ripple effect and people are going to start to come towards you and um be in like a, an, a, a kind of like an obsessive kind of energy and that's why we had to start there because it's like no point to tell you oh this new person this new person this new person has you on their mind if we're talking about a future energy that is triggered by personal growth <clears throat> A lot of readers will, or just people in general, skip over the thing that actually makes that the, the future outcome. <clears throat> but not me, though. We have protection. It is safe to love me. So, yeah, tapping into this energy, I really feel like this is internal. I'm going to switch to the second deck. <clears throat> Spirit is protecting you right now, and it's not rejection, it is protection. Spirit is like, you want someone who is really wanting you for you. You've been wanting to level up your dating pool in general. We have chemistry and apples to oranges. Immediately when the chemistry card came out, I was hearing spirits say, you haven't been seeing eye to eye with people. You feel like you don't even relate to people. You could, if you want to, make it work with any person at this point because no one is really resonating with you on that deeper level to the point where you're questioning if that deeper level is even a real thing, if it even exists and you're watering yourself down already. So you can make it work with any person. 
but you've been really wanting to be with someone where it's like there is chemistry the beautiful thing about chemistry is it's mutual it's two things coming together and having a reaction to each other and so we have apples to oranges this internal change is changing your dating pool so i feel like i got i caught you guys right in the middle of a transformation or at the end of a transformation where now the ripple effect is about to happen in your actual 3d reality but it definitely started with you. And interestingly enough, this blast from the past card, I just heard um, going back to an older version of yourself where you were more confident, were in your power, were in your own head in a good way, where it's like you're not in your head trying to be perfect and think 10 steps ahead of someone else so you can please them, but you were just in your own world, so creative, so lively, so just, just naive and cute and fun. And there may have been something or someone that, uh, you know, changed you. <clears throat> yeah, this reading is about you completely. We do have blast from the past and let's take a break. Um, so for some of you, this is someone of the past that's constantly thinking about you, but we also have out of the blue. So spirit is saying like your love offers are going to come in out of the blue. They're going to be unexpected, but you're having a different quality of love offer because you have a different quality of attraction that you're tapping into a level that you've never tapped into yourself. You're tapping into, and that is what's causing this ripple effect. And you may like find that people are trying to tear you down and honestly spirits trying to get you to stop dating just for a moment and it's not as a punishment but it's just so you can see the difference clearly between what you want and what you don't want <clears throat> we have get off your high horse so that's an energy of people trying to convince you that you're like what you want is too high this reminds me of like whenever I watch reality TV nowadays, I'm like, holy shit, how did I watch this binge watch reality TV for weekends, weekends and weekends and weekends. That was my routine. I went to work, you know, Monday through Friday, and then I would watch like an entire reality TV season in one weekend. How did I do that? I can't even get past one full episode anymore because it's just so toxic. It's like spirit is trying to get you to build your discernment through just taking a time out. And also this transformation is happening. This transition is happening. So while you're leveling up, that's going to have, like I said, a ripple effect to your 3D reality. But if you continue to date during this time, you're going to start to think that those changes aren't happening because the, the, like, the transition hasn't fully happened. The new offers aren't here. And also, I feel like Spirit is trying to bring in someone specific. <clears throat> And if this is someone from the past trying to tell you to get off your high horse, they literally don't deserve you anyways. Look at this. Time for a change. Exactly what I was saying before. I'm telling you, listen, one thing about me, I do the work spiritually. My intuition just doesn't miss. And um, I really felt like even though this is a romance deck where t typically these would be talking about another person, Spirit is not talking about another person in your reading. I can feel the energy so strongly. And there's no question about it. With this time for a change card, that is literally spirit <laughs> leveling up your dating pool. Trying to give you other options, but also one specific option. So we have stopped being bossy. That's spirit giving you a little pushback because some of you guys are like, okay, so I just, what about human connection? Listen, human connection happens through the eyes, through a hug, not through being at a bar with someone and getting your toe stepped on, getting beer spilt on you, ending up at that person's home and they have nothing to value you, but you're leaving with a soul tie and they're leaving with boosted confidence. Like, that's, you're not gaining anything from that. <clears throat> so, let's see. What else we get? We have release baggage. Um, we also have put a ring on it. Guard your heart. Gone. Dude, people are ghosting you. Here's the thing. You can feel internally all the changes that you're going through and you know that your love offers will be getting in better in the future. You probably feel like they should be better now because of how much you've worked on yourself and how your energy is projecting. And you do get more attention, more positive attention like from strangers when you're out and about, when you're... Um, 
grocery shopping or just you know like you know going to stores and things like that you're noticing people are noticing you more getting your attention wanting to make eye contact with you wanting to smile at you but <laughs> When you're on the dating apps or going on dates with people, it's they're not the the offer you're looking for is not here yet. People are not seeing your value. You're trying to shine your light like, look, I'm a goddess, I'm a god. Look at all this work I've done. Look, I'm shiny, I'm pretty, I'm the toy. I am what you want. First of all, you don't have to advertise yourself if you're a freaking a, a, a Ferrari. I've never seen a fucking sorry. Dang it. I didn't want to curse <laughs> that hard. I haven't seen a Ferrari commercial, I don't think ever. <clears throat> they don't have to advertise like GMC, like the new Honda, like the new Toyota. It's just not on the same level. And we have guard your heart and gone. So again, you know, you having these other experiences with people, it's, it's affecting the way that you present yourself and making you question your work, therefore making you make decisions that will negatively impact your life. You can go back. You can go back if you keep like hitting a wall and not listening to spirit. You can go back because if you, you know, sleep with the wrong person and then you get an incurable, now all your partners have to be okay with that in order for you to have any relationship. Or if you have a soul tie, or if you have a baby with someone, that is actual, that, that is something that's going to get in your way regardless of you having a divinely guided partner or not. Everyone is still human. So spirit is like guard your heart because you're going to start moving like you haven't reached that next level of divinity that you have absolutely reached or that you're transitioning into right now. You're going to start moving as if you haven't if you keep presenting yourself to people who don't even have the means to appreciate you. So we have put a ring on and release baggage. It's like you're trying to get someone to commit to you. And it's just like, it, it's not a thing. It's, it's not a thing. I don't know why, like, but people just genuinely don't care. It even perplexes me. Like you would think, <clears throat> how can I? It's kind of like how celebrities get on the internet and the uh, playing field is, is leveled. You could still get roasted, you could still get, like, you know, talked about, you could still get sunned, whatever. You know, it's kind of like that in a way, like, you would think, like, I, I notice, like, a lot of celebrities may think, like, that the fact that they're a celebrity or famous would make them, um, like, everybody's just gonna love them. It makes them immune, you know, from certain things happening to them, but it just doesn't. People don't care as much as we think they care, We ju they just don't. They, they really just don't. So it's kind of like that. Like, I don't know why it's like that. You know, if you're a whole diamond out here, you shouldn't have to advertise yourself. But if you were to say, hey, you know, a uh, person who's struggling with money, I got this diamond for you. You want this? And they'd be like, oh, nah, I'm cool off it. I don't know why they're like that, but it just is, it just is like that. I don't know. But you don't need to prove it. And, and it's like, don't test the spirit, you know? You don't want to go uh, to, a, to, a, to, the, to the edge of a mountain and, and, and like, God got me. Hello! You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how it works. You don't need to test the spirit. You don't need to, to test, you know, okay, the, the people from the past are going to want me or these, like, people who are not on my level, they're, they're going to want me and they're going to chase me because I've done all this work. Like, don't test the spirit. It just doesn't work like that. And I think they're just, I don't know, like, maybe it's like energetically they can't even perceive what you're offering in front of them. Because they're not on that same level, I don't know what it is that, because it perplexes me too, but it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. <clears throat> yeah, we have the judgment card here in the fool. So the person that's going to have you on their mind uh, rent free has not entered your life yet. The judgment card is an opportunity. And it's an opportunity that you also have to take. If you say no to spirit and you're dealing with a bunch of yahoos trying to get them to acknowledge your divinity, you may miss this opportunity or be out of alignment with the opportunity or start to make decisions that then puts you all the way back at square one. <clears throat>
right now you really want to protect yourself because um like i said i'm not really picking up on anyone that is constantly thinking about you group four the person that's constantly going to be thinking about you is the person that's going to pursue you in full like they want you to be their future wife their future husband their future partner that's the next person who's going to obsess over you but it's almost like spirit won't even allow people to fully perceive you because you're being protected right now and you're supposed to be guarding your heart. Four of Cups in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse. I feel like you guys may be focused on the wrong thing or pursuing the wrong thing or wanting this attention from the wrong person. Because if someone, like say for example, your ex was super toxic and you had this crazy, crazy glow up, you're looking good and they were narcissistic. They never acknowledged how you, you know, looked good and, you know, anything like that. So you leveled up and you're trying to put yourself on social media or end up at the same party as them or whatever whatever just so they can acknowledge you but what you don't understand is you could potentially get stuck in that cycle again just trying to get acknowledged you know what i mean like don't don't doubt the power and also your own progress don't feel like you can't still get got because everybody gets got everybody gets got no one is exempt Ugly ass uh, Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce? <laughs> and I'm not saying Beyonce is the baddest either. But what I am saying is Jay-Z looks like a potato. An actual potato. I'm sorry. I don't need to come at that man like that. Um, shout out to him. Um, it's all love. But we got the King of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. So you're meant to, you know, be continuing to grow, continuing to build right now. Um, no one you know is your king of wands. No one you know is going to offer you what it is you're, you, you're looking for. So until your lease is up, until you're able to move, until you're able to make more money, until spirit is able to get that big blessing into your life that's going to completely transform your life so that you can be in alignment with this higher offer, they're not even going to be able to perceive you. So you're going to be trying and trying and trying and trying with people who can't even perceive your divinity. Um, but they'll use you like a, you know... <laughs> freaking rag if you let them <clears throat> we got the four of pentacles and the six of cups so hold on to everything that you have right now and also be patient spirit is working with you i do feel like you'll get some sort of sign or signal soon um or some sort of direction like spirit's gonna let you know i'm here with you i'm working with you it is coming um and i know you want it now but just know it is coming um, but we have the Nine of Swords and the Tower card. Major things still need to be moved around and changed for you to be in alignment with someone who's worthy of having you constantly on your mind. You know, even that is an energetic exchange. To have someone constantly thinking about you, you could start thinking about that person as well. You could have a soul tied to that person. You know, this, this energetic thing can cause like you to even feel it. It can affect you. So you don't even want low vibrational people or people who have control over you, whether or not you're aware of it, to be thinking about you and trying to be with you. It really is protection. Pro Spirit is really protecting you from a lot of unnecessary BS. <laughs> But what I feel like a tower moment is about to happen and that's going to put you in position with the love offers that you deserve and the love offers that you actually want. Um, so spirit hasn't um, been able to make those like major changes in your life that puts you in alignment with this person. And I really feel like it has to do with travel or moving. This could be you doing some sort of exchange program, teaching language in a different country. This could be you moving uh, to a different city, different state, different neighborhood. Um, I feel like some sort of move or travel is going to put you in alignment with this person. Also, like even life purpose, like if you've been working on your art, Maybe you'll have a showing, maybe you'll get a, you know, approved to some sort of gallery or something like that. And then you'll meet someone who's in alignment with you because they're also an artist or they appreciate art. You know, they're into the same thing. Someone who's really compatible with you on just such a higher level. <clears throat> so we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of uh, Pentacles in reverse. Spirit doesn't want you to worry. Spirit doesn't want you to be sad. This is time for celebration. This is a time for basking in your glory and doing the very best that you can and being the very best that you can because um, the next, like the offer that you really want, 
um, Spirit is doing a bunch of work in the background to align you with that and anyone else they can't even barely perceive you you may notice that it's like talking to a zombie or a shell or like people just trail off and blank out when they're even talking to you like they they really struggle to perceive you and it's because like spirit is like closing their eyes whenever someone starts talking to you they may automatically fall asleep if they're not in alignment they you may get a lot of that like we were texting 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 next thing you know they didn't talk to me for the rest of the night and the next morning they were like sorry i fell asleep um <clears throat> we have you know what to do and see me in their eyes let me read this one it says whenever conferring with another either face to face or across uh, the miles, whether a human being, a spirit, or tree, always speak to them. Uh, or sorry, it says always speak to the highest within them. It makes such a difference. Um, so this is an energy of you know speaking to people. It's uh, it may even be affecting your spirit to be like talking to these people because you may speak down to them. And it's affecting your spirit, like just the, the fact that you can't have a normal conversation with them, you have to change your normal, um, the, the way that you speak to dumb it down for them, to water it down, to like, you know, adapt to their slang. Ugh, I'm sick. I'm sick of it. That is what I got for you guys. A big major level up in transition is happening right now. Don't test the spirit and don't get out of alignment or trapped in another situation that's going to take you all the way back to square one. What you want is on the way and no one else can really even perceive you right now. And that's my honest to goodness truth of what came out here. My Etsy is below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that was your message group for. I'll talk to you soon.